Hey class, I'm creating this video to make sure that you guys know how to make a or create a works cited page, an MLA formatted one. And so here we have a sample one that I just pulled off the Google image search. And uh, here are the basics. Of course, just like our essay pages, we've got a last name and page number up here in the header. Everything, including that, is all in Times New Roman, and it's all 12 point. It's all the size 12 one. And um, here we've got works cited, and that's uh, centered. And then we've got a list of books that are listed by the author in alphabetical order of last name. So Gabaldi, Hectopus, uh, Russell, and Smith. Okay, so all of these are single authors except for the third one where the first listed author is Tony Russell, so he goes first. But then we've got the additional authors, Alan Brizzy, Elizabeth Angeli, and Russell Keck. Okay, so we'll be getting into the specifics of this in one second. So I just want to clue you into something that you should probably know as someone going uh, through college and or university. And that's, you know, where to find a lot of uh, resources online to help you with all this. All right, so the main one is uh, Purdue University's OWL website. Um, and uh, usually when I don't remember the URL, the website address right off the bat, um, I usually just type in these three keywords, OWL, Purdue, MLA, and it pops up and it's great. This is what the website looks like. It's basically a one-stop shop for all your MLA formatting needs, right? It explains pretty much everything you need to know, how to format your quotations, if you were doing a paper that was long enough that it needs endnotes or footnotes, you got all, it's all, all your bases are covered, right? We even have a sample works cited page. Right, and it's in Courier, which uh, is not the font that we want you to use, but that's just so it stands out and you can see the difference. Okay. So, anyway, moving on. Uh, we're going to come back to this because I want to check out a couple different things and show you some of your options um, but let's get down to business okay so this is easybib.com and I've been talking to you guys about easybib uh, on and off over the last week or so um, and uh, for my money even though it's free so there's no money involved it's the best citation service online that helps you put together MLA works cited pages rather easily um, so we've got a couple different tabs here We've got website, which is what the majority of you are going to be probably using for your sources. We've got book, newspaper, journal, database, and, uh, you know, there are 59 options in total. Okay. But uh, let's do the website first because it's the easiest. So this should look pretty uh, familiar to you. This is the New York Times uh, op-ed piece featuring Guillermo del Toro, and see it's lowercase d here, and Chuck Hogan, Why Vampires Never Die. So this is the URL, this is the website address. So I'm just going to go like this, and usually I would use key commands to do this, but since you need to see what I'm doing, I'm going to hit copy. Right, so I went up to the URL, I copied it. I'm going to go back to EasyBib, and I'm going to paste that into this search, right, for website. I'm on that tab. Everything's already set to MLA automatically when you get to the site. I'm going to hit Cite It. Okay, gathered it, and it's all the information is complete. It's not going to need us to add anything. Although, look, this doesn't look right, so we're going to have to fix that ourselves. Okay, so let's go ahead and take that out because that's De is not his middle name, all right? So let's go ahead and do this correctly. It probably is going to try to capitalize Dell, but We'll fix that later. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, let's see, and we've got the website title, which is the New York Times. The publisher is the New York Times, and then we've got the URL in here. We're not going to display the URL, so no worries about that. When was it published? The thirtieth of July, two thousand nine. Got that date accessed? The nineteenth of this year, also in July. So I'm going to hit create citation. Okay, and it's here, and like I said, it capitalized the D in Dell, uh, which is technically not how he spells it, but we're not going to worry about that right now. 
but we need to do a book. Okay, because some of you are actually going to use actual physical books. Um, of course, you recognize this. This is why we create horror movies, from Stephen King. And um, the page numbers were kind of off, because if you can see this page that I neglected to print out because it didn't really go with what we were doing, um, it says the last page of this part is 328. So if we were to backtrack 27, 26, 25, 24. So the actual start page is 324. Okay, so, and the text of the writing ends on 326. So remember that 324 to 326. Okay, going to come back to that. All right, so this is actually from a textbook called Mirror on America, uh, Essays and Images from Popular Culture. It's published by Bedford St. Martins. So if you notice here, this is ha highlighted. If you're ever ordering books online or through the campus bookstore, you always need to know one of the ISBN numbers. Uh, so... I usually go with the ISBN 10 because it's smaller. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and copy that and head back over to EasyBib. I'm going to go to the book tab and I'm going to paste that ISBN number in there and then hit cited. Okay. Okay, it gathered it. Of course, like this isn't capitalized properly, but it's going to do it for us after. And so we've got the editors of the book, right? But we don't, and the, you know, the publisher and everything, and the year it was published, but we don't necessarily have Stephen King in there. So it looks like we're going to have to fix that. So, let's see. Let's try that again, okay. All right, so citing, okay. It says the whole book. We actually only want a section of the book. So we're going to go to a chapter or a section. I'm going to hit that. It's going to redirect us. It's going to do that right now. And as it comes in, uh, we're just going to keep published originally in this book because, again, we don't have all the reprint information at the ready, so it's not a big deal. Um, usually we would put these in quotation marks, the title of the uh, of the essay, but it's going to do it for us. So why we create horror movies? Oh, it knows me. So there we go. Put that in there and look, it's capitalized properly why we crave horror movies okay these are all keywords so they're all capitalized all right so chapter essay poem short story that's what we're doing okay so we've got the source authors right here but we need to add another contributor and boom section author automatically pops up so we're going to put in Stephen right <gasps> It knows it. Okay, Stephen King. All right, and uh, this is gonna fix it itself. Um, we don't need any of the advanced info. We got all this. The only thing that we need to put in here is the are the page numbers. And what were those? Yes, three twenty four to three twenty six. Okay, and so we're not gonna click this because non consecutive means it's not in numerical order. Like it's not like one two three. It's like three, four. 26 but this is an order so we're fine we're gonna hit create citation and boom right so this we've got it so this is here this is going this is great but you know it's all it's not formatted correctly it's in the wrong font and all that stuff but what we can do what I love about easy bib is we can export it so we've got export and you can print it as a word doc you can send it directly to your Google Docs, your Dropbox, your OneDrive, yada, you can email it to yourself, you can copy and paste, but I'm going to print it as a Word doc because most of us use um, Microsoft Word to word process. So we get to this page, this big orange button that says download for MS Word, that's what we're going to hit. It's going to send it to my downloads in a second. Okay, it doesn't want me to do meth, which I can agree with. I'm hoping this is the new one because I didn't see it pop up, but I'll go ahead and click that. Nope, that's, that's another one I was working on. So, technical difficulty that happens from time to time. Okay, so let's go back to the web, the main site. 
Uh, let's go to view your bibliography because it stores it for a while. Let's try exporting it again. I'm not really sure what happened that time. That's okay. You know, that's the nature of the world. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and open this one up. There we go. Okay. Um, it's not going to like this, but I'm going to switch this to a lowercase since that's how he spells his name. Okay, so it's in alphabetical order, D and K. But let's say we want to add something else because, you know, you guys can add Buffy or the Lost Boys or other outside sources that you might be privy to to uh, kind of strengthen your essay with examples. But let's go back to Owl for a second. Okay, and I'm going to go into the search because I always forget how to do this. I'm going to type in YouTube and see what it pops up with. Internet's moving kind of slowly tonight. Uh, so hopefully this will pop up in a second. There might be also a faster way to do this, which is just using um, the Google search see what gets it first. Yeah, it failed to open. So let's see. Okay, it was in electronic sources like I thought. Okay, for the sake of finding things, I'm just going to use my finder in here and I'm going to go YouTube. <gasps> YouTube videos. MLA does not currently prescribe a citation style for YouTube videos based on MLA standards or other media formats. We feel the following format is the most acceptable for citing it. Author's name or poster's name title of image okay so we've, we've got this you can read through this and again this was just in the uh, electronic sources part which is right here on the bar over here right but I'm gonna show you how you can also do this through easy bib okay so a video that I would recommend that you guys watch which I'm gonna send to you guys in the email uh, that sends you a link to this so my girlfriend Amy Schumer don't tell my wife um, just kidding but uh yeah I'm a nerd right so that there's that anyway um why you should watch Buffy okay this is a great video that kind of bottom lines a lot of stuff I'm gonna go ahead and pause that because we don't need a commercial for sense 8 I don't think okay so there's a couple different ways to get the URL uh, you can always you know uh, go to sh the share one and do it this way, right? Uh, you can always go up into here and do it this way. It doesn't really matter. But let's go back here and let's go um, back to EasyBib, the main window, the main, the main page by clicking the EasyBib logo. I'm going to go to all 59 options. And if you see here, we've got film, online video. Um, and let's put that URL in here. So paste. Let's see if it will find it for us. Okay, so we've got website title is YouTube. Fair enough. Article, why you should watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Publisher is YouTube. Well, it's not entirely true. Like they said on uh, Owl, we should probably use the person who posted it, which was Passion of the Nerd. Right, so they didn't. Uh, this dude didn't capitalize it properly, but I feel uh, compelled to fix it for him because, yeah, <laughs> some nerd he is, right? Am I right? So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, go back to where were we? Okay, so here we go. Let's go continue. So actually, it doesn't have the authors, so um, this is going to be kind of tough because they're going to be like what so we're going to try something that I've never done before passion of the nerd this may or may not work who knows okay so anyway so it actually should be U S well it's capital okay and at least he capitalized the TV show's title correctly um, let's see, when was this published? We do need that information. You could get away with not doing some of the stuff that I'm doing, but you definitely need this. So, this was published on... Why am I not seeing it? 
should be right around here, right? Ah, uh, there we go. August 19th, 2014. So it's a relatively new video. It's like from last summer. Let's go back into here. So that was, just double check the 19th, right? Yeah. Okay, the 19th, and then I just hit A twice to get August, and then 2014. And then I'm going to hit Create Citation. And uh, it's going to do some crazy stuff. Yeah, it puts nerd first, so I'm going to have to fix that manually because that's, you know, I would probably put it under passion because that's the name of the, the uh, dude who did it. But also we can click on this and see if this guy actually has a real name that's listed somewhere. Over the course of... Yowza, that was loud, right? Um, he's made a ton of Buffy videos that you can check out. So let's go to About and see if we can find an actual name. Let's see, he does have a Twitter account and a Facebook account, so this is where the detective work that they were talking about in Understanding, understanding Rhetoric comes in. Uh, so his name is actually Ian Martin. So actually, let's go ahead and fix that, because that looked terrible, don't you think? I think it looked terrible. So um, again, detective work. you got to do this stuff. All right, let's hit Edit, and let's see if it opens back up for us. So... Loading your citation, please be patient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's fix the, fix this because that just that was terrible, right? So Ian Martin, don't know his middle name. Let's go like this. Okay, cool. And let's update citation. Cool. That looks much better. Okay, so again, the great thing about EasyBib is that we can export it like we did a second ago, right? So Let's say, you know, you add something to it, you want to, you know, don't want to have to muck around with it yourself. You know, maybe you could export it if it wants to work. Okay, there we go. Uh, hit download for MS Word. Got three of these in here, so that's the newest one. And then, boom, there we go, and it did it again, so I'm going to have to fix that. All right, cool. So this is what that looks like. Alright, so this is a works cited page. Um...